Hey y'all, welcome to CC's Texas Garden. I'm Cynthia, welcome to my channel. Guys, I'm out here dropping more seeds. I want this garden to be packed. I want so many things growing and growing that when I do a harvest, that it is a nice huge harvest. I just dropped the eggplant seed <laughs> somewhere in this ground. Well, it'll come up and show me where it's at. So these are eggplant long that I'm gonna plant. Now, uh, I was watching my girl from Texas Blue Bonnet uh, channel, and I'll link her channel down below, but she was planting her eggplants, and uh, she was planting five different ones. Uh, I'm just gonna plant, I don't know how many seeds this is, I got some soil there, but, um, I'm just going to plant some. I've never successfully grown any eggplant, but I'm going to try this year to see if I can grow some. So I have about, let's see, two, four, six. I had seven seeds, one dropped on the ground somewhere. So I'm going to put two in each little section over here. Um, now, it will not stay in these. These are just pretty much what I'm going to be growing them in to get them a little bigger into plant size where I can transplant them somewhere in the garden but it's a way to keep these um, contained in one area so like I said I'm gonna just put two in each side so there's there's one and there's two Y'all can barely see them. I didn't even realize eggplant seeds was that small, but they are. I'm gonna move some of this and drop two more. There's one. There's the second one. Come on over here. There we go. I hope everyone is doing well. We had some bad storms, but they seem to have passed. And we're back to growing as usual. So, two more seeds on this side. We'll put a little bit of soil over it. So, we have our eggplant long planted. I also just planted up some more orange ground cherries. Guys, I want a lot of ground cherries. I have seen some volunteer ground cherries come up as well, which I'm excited about because, you know, that's more garden snacks for me. I, the other day I planted out some roselle I also planted out some fuzzy blue ball tomatoes shouts out to Tampa <laughs> she didn't think that was a thing but it is um, we also have I cannot say the name of this pepper I think this is a it's a mild pepper that's the name of it Tex or something and then elephant ear I have planted here this is elephant ear pepper it's a sweet pepper also some more roselle here I planted some cinnamon basil over here yep cinnamon basil and what is that some more ground cherries what kind of these orange the orange ground cherries as well i might have plenty of those so what you can do you can leave them out like this i had them out spread out like this because of the uh, rain that we had but when it is not raining this is all roselle you can stack them up it saves you space y'all i mean even if you don't you know leave them in there but it saves you space in your garden until these plants get a little bigger you can stack them up like this they'll all get some sun for each, each side of it and it's it takes up less space so um like i said i just planted these eggplants i don't have anything in these other trays i'm gonna fill them up with some goodies as well and uh but that's what I'm doing this morning. Really just dropping seeds. Um, I have my new flowers that I just got. I gotta find out where I wanna plant them. Do I wanna plant them in the ground or do just put them in some flower pots? I haven't figured out yet what I wanna do with them. This container here 
is what I'm going to put my blue butterfly pea in. I'm gonna fill this container up and put it next to a trellis, um, like the white trellis. I'm gonna put this container with the blue butterfly pea and let it just trail up and have beautiful purple um, flowers so I can harvest them for teas and things like that. So, I am going to get back to planting because not only do I have to do planting today, oh y'all, look at this gorgeousness. I did not see that when I came out here. I seen that they may open up, but look at that. Five of them, five of these hibiscus flowers. I tell you what, this is called the uh, the Painted Lady Hibiscus. And look how gorgeous those things are. Look at that. And I still have some more little baby blooms coming up. But oh my goodness, what bee wouldn't love this beautiful display of flowers and fragrance, I'm sure, for, you know, to pollinate. But uh, that is gorgeous. I paid $5 for this beauty five dollars it was looking rough but i mean just give it some love and care a lot of those plants in the clearance area are still good plants they just they can't sit up there and tend to each one of those plants but we can as gardeners we can look at that look at the detail up in that it's so pretty and i'm not a flower girl y'all not a flower girl but i respect when it's something nice now over here Look y'all, this is my cabbage. <laughs> I cut the cabbage down and three heads came up. I cut those three heads off. Now I have five heads that came up. Isn't that amazing? Cabbage still trying to survive. Beautiful too, look at that. <laughs> my sweet potatoes are actually starting to give me some slips now. And look what's trying to come back, the red Russian kale. Yeah, because I left the base in there. That's a big old thick root. I left it down in there. I figure maybe, maybe I can get it to overwinter and it'll come back. You know? Don't know if it will, but right now it's trying to come back already. These are the blue butterfly pea that I'm going to be putting into that container. Matter of fact, let me just go ahead and take that over there so I can remind myself to do that. <sighs> yeah, these blue butterfly plea are ready to get into a bigger container. Um, well, not that it's, yeah. Well, it, it needs some trellis in room. It needs to get rid of the trellis, so this would be perfect to put, line them up in there and then just let them run up there. I still do need to get a cattle panel or some kind of trellis it's coming y'all it's coming i'm trying to get all my stuff in order over here these tomatoes i'm gonna matter of fact i'm gonna take this netting off of here because one of the things i need to do is move these tomatoes around they look gorgeous in there too uh i need to move these tomatoes around because they're packed in here too close and they need need a uh, space. If I'm gonna use this as my tomato bed, which I wasn't planning on it, but that's what happened. <laughs> I have a million clips on this thing. Okay. Mmm. Flea beetles. Golly, yep, look at that. It's trying to decimate my tomatoes. Look, look at that. You see that? Mm hmm. But they only seem to be eating that, they're not eating this one. They're making these holes all in. Look, it's about to have some little um, flowers on that one. This is definitely an indeterminate. Look how tall it's getting. 
but yeah i need to move these tomatoes around in here look even down there they just eating up and that is a big ant pile back there where those onions are at that's not good either yeah need to move these around and what is this this oh it's a garlic but let's see what it's looking like okay okay garlic i see you cover you back up my onions they have decided to lay down <laughs> I need to trim them. They need a nice haircut and trim them down. These are my giant ground cherries. And uh, they haven't put on any little babies yet, but make sure. Oh, I'm starting to see a root come out the bottom of that. Huh. That's interesting. These may wind up having to be in the ground. Yeah. Here's the other ground cherry. Oh, the root's not at the bottom of this yet. Okay, guys. I have finished up. I have this tower full with items in it. Uh, plants, seeds. Then I put the flowers on top of there that I got from Lowe's. And over here, it has a lot of herbs, eggplants, different things in that one as well. I did go around the garden and drop some bone meal um, just in the areas that need things that are blooming, that things that need to be bulbing. So I did put that there and uh, move some stuff around. I moved the tomatoes up here for they can get uh, as much sunlight as they need. I have these tomatoes. We're just waiting for some color to get on them. Look how full. This is from my hydroponics. So if you ever think that you can't transplant your stuff from hydroponics to outside, here is an example. These were my tiny Tims that was in my hydroponic. I brought them outside and they still have the little filter too on them, y'all. And they are growing just fine with no issues. You're just waiting for some heat to go ahead and turn these red. I also have my galaxy tomato over here. It is getting more purple by the day. Look at that. Now, it still have a green film on the bottom of it, but it is looking really nice. It's not time to pick it yet. I do want to harvest the seeds, so I want to make sure that I do it correctly and let it grow to its max stage sprinkle it around i'm going to these cucumbers over here on the ground they're they're small i don't know if they will do anything but i'm going to put them in this ground over here this is going to be my cucumber bed when those garlic come out of there this is going to be some green beans um in this bed the pole green beans are going to be here i have these shorter bush beans here i have peppers here okra is over here and then on this side this has the kusha squash in here guys look at this even though it is not the season i still have some red mustards that came back <laughs> they came back and so i'm like okay well you want to come back i'm gonna eat you so those i have some swiss chards in here and i have some more i even have the uh what did i cut the collard greens that i cut down in here they're trying to come back mm -hmm. my onions are starting to bulb look at these they're starting to bulb a little bulb on them but uh yeah anyway this is all that i'm doing in the garden it is time for me look at my marshmallow plant y'all this is an herb um yeah, it's doing really good. I have stray zinnias that's just popping up different places in the garden. Um, but I'm getting ready to go to work. And so thank y'all for being with me. 
if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do i'd love for you to be a part of this garden community let us learn and grow together especially during these heat times check out my channel to see how i'm able to grow things in the texas heat and i will see you on the next video